Taxing and spending, two big issues nationally, uh, big issues for uh, the national GOP. How are, you, how are they shaking down and what are your positions on those as they relate to here, the North Shore? Well, they're big issues for like every American because at the end of this year, um, you're going to see um, all the tax rates expire. So uh, the tax on dividends, capital gains, income um, are all expiring and nobody can make any decisions, whether you're a small business or whether you're a family, um, you know, deciding uh, if you're going to you know, go in a certain direction. You just don't know um, what the tax code is going to be like. Uh, at every event I've had recently, I always say, is there an accountant in the room? And I'll say, what are you telling your clients, you know, individuals and businesses? And the accountant will say the same thing. Hold right now. Don't do anything. And this is one of the reasons our economy uh, hasn't been able to jumpstart and, and, and recover from the uh, economic mess that we were in. Um, and on the budget side, it's the same thing. Congress is, hasn't been doing their job. They haven't been passing budgets. And they put themselves in a situation where um, at the end of this calendar year, um, tax, uh, they call it tax again, and the um, whole sequester process is going to take place. And automatic cuts are going to occur in both um, human service programs and in defense. Uh, a lot of people are worried about that. They're across the board cuts, so it isn't like the congressmen are going to be debating each individual cut. So our Congress right now, by not doing their job, have put this country in a terrible situation. And a lot of people are very nervous about what will happen. Um, people who are on, um, you know, who really need and depend upon programs that the federal government is providing. Uh, there's just so much indecision out there. Everything in Washington has a Band-Aid on it right now, and that's why we need new leadership in Washington, D.C.